Tonight, Galveston County leaders face serious questions about whether Go Topless Jeep Weekend should continue. Then again, some wonder if it could be stopped. It was a wild weekend, to say the least. Tonight, we are tracking the chaos by the numbers. Take a look. First responders handled 600 911 calls. 125 people ended up ended up being booked into jail in four days time. And at one point, an official with Galveston County Emergency Services told us one person was killed. Well, today the sheriff said that wasn't true. We have confirmed six people were flown to Galveston hospitals. And that includes 21 year old Tanner Francis. 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson is live at UTMB Galveston. And Kelsey, you spoke with Tanner's mom today. Also, how is Tanner? Well, Tanner Francis is in the, is in the hospital at Jenny Seely Hospital behind me in Galveston right now. He's fighting for his life, but his mom tells me he's also fighting to live to see his one year old son Luke grow up. Now I want you to look at a picture of Tanner before the accident. As you can see this with the sun, a big smile on his face. Now take a look at Tanner now in the hospital. You can see his eyes are swollen and he is connected to tubes. But what you can't see in the picture is the miracle that is working. Tanner fell out of the back of a truck on the beach go topless cheek weekend. This accident happened Saturday. Julie Busby tells me she got the call that her son had been in a terrible accident while out to eat. She said she rushed here to the hospital as the medical helicopter was landing that was carrying her son. She tells me she was shocked by the first time she saw Tanner saying you could still see the tire marks across his face. Initially, doctors were not sure if Tanner would even survive, but the family tells me it's with the power of prayer that he may soon be able to speak with them. He's coming around slowly but surely, and I, I feel very confident that he's going to make a full recovery. And I am here because we serve an awesome God, and God showed up for me when we needed him. Julie tells me the doctors told her it was important that Tanner try and communicate with the family, and he has done just that. He wrote on a piece of paper that his head hurt, and his mom tells me everyone in the room cheered by this major improvement. And while the family is grateful for what they are calling a miracle, they are still wanting something to be done about the safety at Go Topless Jeep Weekend. I mean, when tragedy happens, all of the first responders have to cross the ferry, and it just seems like it's a poorly managed event when something does go wrong. Um, and I think that needs to be addressed. Tanner still has a long road to recovery. Again, the family is thanking everyone for their calls, prayers, and well wishes. And Tanner was one of 19 people transport, transported here to the trauma center as a level one trauma. ER doctor said it's the most they've seen in a long time, but we still aren't sure if all 19 of those people are from the Bolivar Peninsula. Live in Galveston, Kelsey Johnson, 12 News. Kelsey, thank you very much. Already there's a petition circulating at ending Go Topless Weekend at Crystal Beach. It already has thousands of signatures. Coming up tonight at 10, 12 News reporter Tyler Segerman will dig deeper into whether the petition would even work. We'll verify what can legally happen on Texas beaches in such a situation. Tonight